with an easy point. After you play a long point like that, that's what you're hoping to get. You're always looking for that big serve and that cheap point after a long point. You're right, Jim. Hunter's attacking, but Borg is there. This one has all the makings, Tom, of maybe what had transpired 10 or 15 years ago. Connors with a second serve. front of him and come up with a big shot for the winner. Bjorn had a great backhand passing shot down the line that set up that easy forehand. First break point in the match. Very smartly done as Connors took him out wide with the serve and then closed it off at the net. Dude. That's the classic lefty play. That's that's what all the righties say. We have a big advantage. Mm -hmm. Throw that wide serve out and, and close in and make the, the winning volley. And again, Connors being more aggressive now. Yeah, as Jimmy's gotten older, he's, uh, he's, he's closed out more points at the net. And he, he volleys extremely well, and he moves well at the net. And I think it's also proved to serve, because when he is serving and volleying, he serves a lot better. It is right now. That's why I get out of the game now. <laughs> Jimmy communicating, of course, with his closest personal friends in the stands. <laughs> Big serve by Connors. And you just talked about his serve and how much more effective he's become with it. Yeah, he, he tossed that one way out in front and he hit a really good slice right down the middle. And again, he took it out wide, but it's in the alley. <laughs> Wonderful shot making by both players in that particular game. And Connors draws even. It is one all. Much longer. That's a great play by Connors hitting behind Borg. You Borg moves it. so well to the open court. And it's you good to play behind him to neutralize his speed a little bit. Jimmy being very smart here, talking in the crowd and buying some time. He is a little bit winded after that game. <laughs> Forehand sets up well, whips it straight down the line. Borg was looking for the cross court. Second serve. Oh. Oh. 15. Connor's looking that time to chip the ball. You talked a little bit about the altitude, and the ball has a tendency when it gets uh, a little more elevated to float. Yeah, the ball gets up high in the second serve. Oh. It's flat first serve. serve. Went to the other side and I, gave him the point. I thought it was out myself. Yeah. Big serve that time by Borg. It's 
one thing. As Bjorn's career developed, he really developed a big first serve. It's really been a real weapon for him. Attacking. And it's wide. Connor's made a great play by coming in off that return. We saw Borg off balance. And anytime you can get Bjorn to hit a one-hand backhand, you know you're in pretty good shape. Yeah, you get him stretched out like that. You can't get that one. So Bjorn Borg moves on and now has a two games to one lead in the first set between the Battle of the Champions. The power, the punishment, the pain. The ultimate sports spectacular. Now you can relive the excitement on home video with Top Rank's greatest knockouts. Volumes 1 and 2, together on one full-length cassette. Legends like Hagler, Hearn, Arguello, Duran. 22 knockouts that changed boxing history. The courage, the champions, and the cheap shots. This is non-stop action, up close and in your face. Call now to order. Order by a knockout. Top ranks, greatest knockouts, volumes one and two. Together, only 1998. Don't miss the bell. Call now. Call now to order Top Rank's Greatest Knockouts. This video makes the perfect gift. Sorry, no CODs. For faster delivery, please have your credit card ready and call 1-800-872-8600. That's 1-800-872-8600. This week on Sports Channel, the Mets collide with division foes. Wednesday, they complete their series with the Florida Marlins. Saturday, the Mets visit Philadelphia to slug it out with the Phillies. Mets baseball, live this week, only on Sports Channel. Borg leads, 2-1. Thank you. Connor's getting ready to serve. <laughs> Great mobility there against most players. That would have been a clean winner, and Bjorn barely missed that forehand pass. Connor smiling at Bjorn, talking. And it's 15 all. That's exactly what Bjorn wants to do in this match pin him back deep behind the baseline with those top pin groundies. And not have. The opportunity for Connors to get that short ball and attack. Exactly. Oh. For sure. First serve for Connors. Oh. Forehand to backhand, backhand to forehand. Both players are showing excellent mobility and excellent ball control. They're really uh, mixing up their shots pretty well. See if you could slow the things up a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's a good play. You don't want to give a guy rhythm by hitting every ball the same pace. 30 all. <laughs> Most of us hit our best returns on a let serve. You Never fails. And just hit through it. <laughs> Connor's checking to make sure it was called let. 
and right back down that tee again. This time just wide. Just missing again. Off the left. And four. It's the forehand down the line for the winner. Yeah, I think Jimmy went behind him one too many times there. He hit three balls in a row right back to the same spot. Yarm just waiting for that forehand. And after the let uh, the let cord situation, the ball just sat up yeah, before it. Made it a fairly easy shot. Again, he wrong puts it. And on the overhead for the winner. Once. Here Bjorn after the return moving back to the middle looking for the forehand getting wrong foot and have to stretch and just throw up a little lob which Connors puts away. Oh. And that is Connors. When Bjorn has to stretch on his backhand and take the other hand off he's not as effective. A strategy in which we've already seen Connors try to use tonight. Down the line that time with a two-hander. Borg playing very solid with a lot of confidence early. Great backhand pass. He was really well set up for. Not happy with that lady calling him out. Mm -hmm. Just missing on the center line. Attacking off the second ball. That's a good play because uh, Bjorn takes his racket back fairly low on his backhand, and Connor's second serve is kicking up pretty high. Advantage, Connors. Jimmy trying to pull even here in the first set. He trails 2 1. Line, the characteristic of both these great champions is that when they're down, they, they will attack. You know, a lot of players, when they're down, they'll kind of play a little pass over defensive. These two champions like to attack when they're down. Oh. Connors draws the service return air by Borg and evens the first set at two games each. Borg had some early opportunities for his, Connors' first two service games. He had break point. And he wasn't able to convert. Both players working extremely hard. Normally at the beginning of the match, you kind of try to get your rhythm and, and, and just play nice, solid percentage tennis. These guys are going at it hard from the first bell. Set that point up off the return of serve. Great angled return that got Bjorn stretched out on the forehand side, leaving his backhand corner wide open for the approach shot. gets up to that one and the ball's a little bit low it's below the net so he just has to scoop it up he can't do much lit with it oh. leaving Bjorn the easy cross court forehand 30 -30. and then it's Bjorn taking Connors out wide off his backhand side just relax <laughs> I think a lot of people just knew really Bjorn Borg with the great ground strokes. Didn't really realize the big time serve, first serve that he had. Uh, tremendous first serve. And you saw it on consecutive points right there. So Borg takes the lead three games to two over Jimmy Connors' first set.
So what's all this about the kids to pump? Listen up, this is extreme. Shaq, 7 one 300 pounds over the course of the season. He probably leaves the Empire State looking about 17 times. Why? We don't know. That's velocity for you. Velocity will get you everywhere. Talk about torch, talk about technology, talk about the Insta Pump grip and feel it. How far is this going to take him? He's going to go places to the moon, to the finals, to his mother's to dinners. The Insta Pump, all things must change. Every year is a leap year on planet Reebok. That's Reebok spelled I N S T A P U N P M D P. It's great calling long distance, but how do you feel when you get the bill? That's how I felt. I thought I had great rates, but with the extra fees and confusing charges, come bill time, serious shocker. That's why I switched to LCI International, a very different long distance phone company. Now I know what I'm paying for phone calls anywhere in the country. It's inexpensive with no surprises. Maybe you're paying too much with AT&T, MCI, and Sprint. Call LCI and compare. In 47 BC, Cleopatra herself rented the very first luxurious caravan from Thrifty for a mere bag of sand. Today, Thrifty Car Rental still offers historically low rates on caravans, this time on Dodge caravans. Simply check your phone book for the Thrifty location nearest you. Fact is, Thrifty's been renting cars at low prices and giving royal treatment since the very beginning. Your neighborhood Thrifty Car Rental, historically known for low rates. 90 miles from New York City, there's an entire world like you've never seen before. The Concord Resort Hotel, Championship Golf, Indoor and Outdoor Tennis, Live Entertainment with the biggest names in show business, a million activities just for the kids, and much, much more. So leave your world behind and lose yourself in ours for a while. The Concord Resort Hotel. For reservations, call 1-800-CONCORD. Well, here are two players that are responsible for all the two-handed backhands we see today on the tour and, uh, and uh, at the clubs. Jimmy Connors takes that racket straight back, sets himself up, leans into the ball, and goes straight through it, and nice and flat. And, and Borg, by comparison, takes the racket back low, but he cocks it up very high, and he dips it back down and comes up very sharply with some big top spin. Big difference in the follow-through there. Love 15 as we are back. Again, Connor stretching out the court. Good wide serve, out wide to the forehand, or right wide to the backhand, then down the line forehand for the winner. Big serve that time by Connors. You saw a couple of those in your match against him. Yeah, he's placing the ball very well. Jimmy doesn't have an overpowering serve, but he, he disguises the serve pretty well, and he's got very good placement. Oh, he missed it. But he, Jimmy normally has a very reliable overhead. I'm surprised he didn't hit that one to the open court. <laughs> Connors has already come in 14 times in the match, and he's 9 for 14, which is a very good percentage. And Borg, surprisingly, he's come to the net seven times already. And he's coming again. It's good. Connors with the shot! Con Borg attacking. He gets jammed a little bit, but makes a drop volley. Connors coming in. Angles it past him for a winner. Great, great angle. Look at him moving with his racket out in front. Hits the outside of the ball and just plays it on the angle. Great movement, great racket okay. control. <laughs> Looking for that cheap point after that long run. cheap about that one. He ran around his backhand twice in a row and hit some huge forehands and finished it off with the overhead. He's really coming in a lot more than we anticipated. Oh. 
We talked earlier about this particular court. The ball does not come up high here. The ball stays down. So both players driving the ball more than looping it. Slice backhands in a row with one hand. That's certainly not the shot that is going to win him this match. And Connor's creeping in on the last one and putting away the forehand volley. An opportunity to get the break at that time. He thought he should have been a little more aggressive and Absolutely. gone for it. Absolutely. Back to Deuce. That's reaching. one that we have seen by Bjorn Borg. Yeah, he was a little off balance there. I think he got caught with a bad bounce because there, there are some dead spots in this court and that one looked like it really, really came a little bit lower than he expected. Jimmy there playing with the ball. It, get, it gets a little fuzzy and that's what happens when you play a guy like Bjorn who puts so much topspin on the ball. The, the balls really fluff up. <laughs> match at three games each in the first set. Game is three on. Neither player wanting to give in. And Bjorn Borg ready to serve. situation here Tom because <laughs> the match has begun Connors has had a running dialogue the entire time you haven't heard a word from Bjorn Borg uh, I don't think you probably will <laughs> so Connors now really applying the pressure and he gets up at love 30 two very deep balls to the forehand forced airs by Connors. 15 Once again, Bjorn down love 30. He likes to serve and volley. Played a very good point. Measured pretty well, mm -hmm. and you saw him change the face of the point too as he hit the uh, the moon ball, as I used to call them. Right. Learned that from his old friend Harold Solomon. Uh huh. Work at the net again. And Connors rips two shots at him. That's one thing that Jimmy does very well. Sometimes he'll take the ball and just drive it straight at you, and you'll get beat by the sheer pace. Borg isn't a natural volleyer, so if he has to hit too many volleys, he's in trouble. Are you surprised he's so aggressive? I, I 
am actually a little surprised he is this aggressive. But maybe it's the altitude, maybe it's the indoor surface. And the lob that time. Not very deep by Connors, and Borg easily knocks it off with the overhead. The ball off. Well, that's why. That's what Bjorn likes to do. He likes to be aggressive with that forehand. That did set up the easy overhead. All important seventh game. The world's largest volleyball tournament and beach party, the Volleyball Blast, is coming to Long Beach. For an entry form, call now. Play in the Blast on Saturday or Sunday, July 9th and 10th in a two- or four-player tournament. Each player gets a free shirt and free tickets to local sporting events, separate male, co-ed, teenage, and adult divisions. You play against teams on age. To play, call now. Or get an entry form in Newsday or at Genovese Drugstores. Volleyball Blast, brought to you by the New York State Lottery, WDRE, Banana Boat, WDLI, Miller Beer, and presented by Sports Channel. You can still fly with Michael Jordan. All the excitement of the Jordan career is captured in this exclusive collection, the Michael Jordan Thrill Pack. Free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated, the magazine that gets you into sports like no one else. The Thrill Pack includes two free videos, Come Fly With Me 91 and Michael Jordan Airtime. Come fly with Michael to his early days in North Carolina and stay way out for the NBA and the original slam and jam and excitement. In airtime, you go behind the scenes to see what it's like to be Michael Jordan as his championship dreams come true. The Bulls win! They win! Your thrill pack also includes this special collector's edition of Sports Illustrated. It's full color excitement celebrating three seasons at the top. Get 54 issues of Sports Illustrated for only $1.39 an issue. Save over 52% off the cover price. For quicker delivery, use your credit card. Don't miss this big three pack thrill pack. It's the only way to fly. There is nothing in the world like Sports Illustrated. Get into it. And here we have Bjorn Borg at the net. Uncharacteristically, he's been at the net 12 times already in this match, and he's 8 for 12. But notice here, he hits that backhand volley. Instead of closing in, he's actually backing up. And here he gets caught standing up on the volley and netting it. Now, where if he would have been two steps in, that ball probably would have gone over. Yeah, he's got to position himself and to move forward at the net. with a double fault. First double fault of the match. That's certainly not the way you want to start a game serving with new balls because serving with new balls is certainly a big advantage. And the miss hit. Once again, a very deep ball by Connors into the board forehand, and Bjorn takes a very big windup on that forehand. So if somebody hits it hard, you can get caught late. Connors attacking that time. And producing the forcing volley. And it's 30-15. 
Jimmy taking his time here. And again, the big forehand by Borg gets him the point. Yeah, great forehand return, got Connors off balance. And he took that next forehand early and just ripped it down the line. He's really scoring big with an aggressive forehand so far in this match, Jim. And Connors comes right back with the end of the body serve. Cutters down the line. Four all. And we're even at four all. And both players huffing and puffing. And Jimmy came up with two good serves there from 30 all. And that's what both players are looking for when the score is close. Getting that first serve in, taking control of the point. Just out. Just wide. What a great run, though, by Connors. And again, the aggressiveness of Borg gets him that point. Yeah, both players are serving balling quite a bit tonight. Oh, the ball was clearly out as it was. And Bjorn is now going to speak. Ball was called good. It looked like it just caught to me. Ooh. Wow. That's a bad call there by the umpire. Yeah. Yeah, because most people, including our position, had a good look at it. Here's the half volley by Borg. The good pickup. Connors on the full stretch. Going for the down the line forehand. Hooks it. Clearly, Clearly wide. Out. Clearly <laughs> wide. I think he changed the he did, score. He did change the score. Jimmy knew it was out. The drop shot. Oh. Now here's a guy who just hammers and hammers the ball and then all of a sudden comes up with such a great touch. Connor's coming in, comes above the ball, comes back underneath the ball with nice soft hands and follows it in because he knows it's a good one. <laughs> Maybe they don't have birth certificates in Sweden or something. Who knows? Yeah, Jimmy was talking to Bjorn, asking him what his age was. You have to be 35 or over to compete here. <laughs> he still got the same amount of hair he had when he was 23. <laughs> Connors gave it to him. Look wide to me. <laughs> well, we saw that one deep. And the double fault by Borg. Borg looking at his hand. I think his racket might have slipped or something in his hand. Had a break point opportunity here for Connors, and we are dead even at four games each. First break point of the match for Connor. Great court coverage by both players. Unbelievable. And the appreciative crowd. Here it is, the serve and volley. The pickup by Borg hits off his frame and just drops over. Connors makes the good angle off the backhand. Borg stretches, and Connors hits a high forehand volley. Connors lead five games to four in the first set. And along with USA Davis Cup captain Tom Gullickson. Tommy, this match has been everything we thought it would be. Oh, it's terrific tennis. Uh, Borg has not capitalized on his opportunities. Connors converting his only break point at four all with some tremendous running. The cross court for the winner. Borg held that ball until Connors committed, and then he just saw the opening cross court. Yes. A bullet. Two great 
backhand from Bork. Jimmy conceding as you heard him yell, yes. And the deep return that time by Borg. Connors leading five games to four in the first set. Borg tried the run around forehand there, which is a good play for him. He just barely hit it long on the baseline. 15-30, big point for both players. Forehand draws a miss hit. And we're at 30 all. Connors, if he wins this game, wraps up the first set. Borg trying to even it at five games yeah, all if he can break. should have made. The underscore stairs, Borg with 16, Connors with 12, and an opportunity right now for Connors to close out the first set. Oh. Or close out a linesman. <laughs> Baseline trying to make a half foul. Beat some of that fat off of there. Yeah. Yeah, the big serve down the tee. Yeah, the lefties like to hit those swinging serves down the middle. Once again, great placement won that point. Not overpower, but great placement. And another first set opportunity here. And the ace, and he had Borg fooled completely as Borg went for the backhand. Good time to throw the down the middle flat serve. He's been serving out wide the Bjorn backhand almost the entire set. He's at set point, he mixes him up and goes for the flat one down the middle. Thank you. Very high quality tennis his first set, Jim, from both players. That's that other tour. This you can get up, you can run for hot dogs and other talking to the fans in the stands about getting up and running for hot dogs if they felt like it. <laughs> Maybe one of those dead spots that you talked about on the court because he kept checking it out to see what it hit. Yeah, you won't see Jimmy missing too many second serve returns. Very short preparation. He hits the ball very clean. <laughs> And that time, the lunging backhand by Borg. Looked like he changed his mind what he wanted to do with the shot. Looked like he might have been going cross-court, and then in the last second, he tried to change his mind. And the ace. Ace number three for Bjorn. 30-15. Second serve. Oh. And the 
missed opportunity by Borg. That's a tough shot to hit uh, down the line forehand from that far behind the baseline. Usually when you're behind the court like that, you should go cross court. It's more comfortable to loop the ball that way. And that one will sell wide. Good depth by Borg that time. Hit that ball right in the corner. Yeah. I just missed it. That was a good play. He was inside the court. Jimmy hit the short ball. It's a great time to change direction and hit that down the line approach shot. Borg really being aggressive and going for his shots. And he has made a few more unforced errors than Jimmy in this match. Again, Connors with the monster return and got the setup ball. Jimmy hit that ball right at his toes, forcing Bjorn once again to half foul. Connors one for two on break point opportunities. Borg is 0 for 3, and Connors looking at another break. It's critical for Borg to uh, get off to a good start in this set after playing a pretty good first set and, not, and, and losing 6 4. He's got to hold this first game. And the ace came right back again at the same spot. Of course, waiting in the wings in the finals, Johan Creek. They're tied at three aces apiece in this match, both serving very well. Another one. Well, they were tied at three all. Now it's four three. Borg pounding away and finding success down the middle. And Connor stepping in. And the miss hit. Oh. And Bjorn Borg has won the opening game of the second set. Jimmy Connors won the first set, 6-4. For the forehand, he takes a fairly big loop. The high wind up, he drops it below the ball and really comes up and across the ball sharply for the heavy topspin. That was his trademark. Terrific shot. And then we see Connors here taking the racket straight back with a simple shoulder turn, straight back, back swing and straight through the ball, much flatter shot, a very simple shot. And on this court, which is a little quicker, a little lower bouncing, it's probably a little safer. Quiet, please. And Thank board. you. Borg attacking. on the full run. Borg with the easy down the line. He likes to hit it right back to him. What are old friends for, anyway? Huh? Well, he paid the price because Jimmy comes right back with one of those cheapy points. That's what you need after a long run. Most of his, net, his netted serves have come because he's not getting up after the ball. Coming in on the second serve. And he had the court wide open and missed it. Well, he saw, I think he took his eye off the ball there. He saw Bjorn go to the backhand side. He watched Bjorn move, and he, and he just missed the ball. He's human. He's won 109 titles, but he can make some errors, too. Again, we saw the change of pace that time as he took all the pace off the ball. A good play by Bjorn, though, to run around that ball. Uh, that, that should have been punished, and it was. And he just barely missed the ball, hit it on the tape. 40 50.
second double serve. fall. He went for a huge second serve down the middle. Well, he's already won the first set at six games to four, trying to even the second set at one each. And he's done it. Good wide serve that stayed very, very low. Wow. And the slice, both on the serve and on the ground stroke, is good. Here we see the first set stats. Ward with 70% first serves compared to Connors 59. Connors having fun with some friends in the crowd. Can't believe what he just saw. And neither can Borg. <laughs> Tennis, and there's, <laughs> and there's humor. The boys are never too old to appreciate some good looking women. Oh. <laughs> and Bork right now cannot get careless. No. Here's the first set stats here. 15 winners for Borg, really going for his shots against 12 for Connors. The real story is the break point uh, opportunities that Borg missed out. He was 0 for 3. For set. And Connors cashed in on one of two of his break points. Came up with a great drop volley in the second. Or coming to the net quite a bit in this match so far. And again, power from the baseline by Connors forces that air. I'm sure Jimmy loves to see Bjorn take that left hand off his racket and hit that one-handed slice because that's definitely not his best shot. 15-30. Ford guessed right but couldn't get it back over. But you're right, he does look uncomfortable being up yeah, that close to the net. He's clearly more comfortable at the baseline where he's had most of his tennis experience. Six for Borg already in this match. He's really scored well with that wide Three, serve to four, the backhand four. on the deuce court. 30 40, another break opportunity for Connors. <laughs> Borg is there again and cannot come up with a winning volley. Well, it's awfully tough sometimes for the. As Connors gets the break. It is now 2-1, Connors over Borg in the second set. Legend has it that when Lenny needed some wheels for his family vacation and only wanted to spend a few pebbles, he went to Thrifty, just a stone's throw away. Today, you can still find a Thrifty car rental nearby with very neighborly rates. Simply check your local phone book or call 1-800-4-CARS. You see, Thrifty's been renting wheels at low prices in neighborhoods all over since the very beginning. Your neighborhood Thrifty car rental, historically known for low rates. Here's the brand new instructional pool video you've been waiting for. Pocket Billiards Fundamentals to Fantastics. 1993 nine ball champion Johnny Archer. Two-time women's champion Ava Mattia. Join four-time world champ Steve Miserak and Q-Track. Hi, I'm Ava Mattia. Are you struggling with your game? Q-Track and some practice will make it easier. These champions will give you instruction on banks, cuts, power draw, and the masse. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the great shots that I've learned. Fundamentals to Fantastics is a brand new look at pool instruction. Fundamentals to Fantastics is available only through this special TV offer for only $19.95. You'll learn in a brand new way with Q-Track. 
These champions will teach you strategy, jump shots, English. With this video, you'll learn how to perfect your stroke and have the confidence to win. And if you order now, we'll send you absolutely free bar table billiards with a Bar King Dave Matlock. This combo offer is not available anywhere. Sorry, no COD. Fundamentals to fantastics. You're going to love this tape. And we're going to send you this one for free. Call now. This week on Sports Channel, the Mets collide with division foes. Wednesday, they complete their series with the Florida Marlins. Saturday, the Mets visit Philadelphia to slug it out with the Phillies. Mets baseball live this week only on Sports Channel. The Devils, the Rangers, the two best teams in the East collide. Only one will survive on the road to the Stanley Cup Finals. The Devils and Rangers clash in Game 3, Thursday, live and exclusive on Sports Channel. Don't reach up, I'm going to reach it. Shot. That time Borg had great depth on the approach, forcing Jimmy about 10 feet behind the baseline to try to make that pass. This time it's Connors who comes down the middle. And Jimmy's left handed serve is slicing away from Bjorn, making him stretch and take that left hand off for that one handed slice. hit the ball and Jimmy thought he had the point and all of a sudden he goes whoops oh, oh wait a minute yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> had to scoop it right off the ground and sneaks in and Bjorn rifles the backhand cross court 30 all big chance here for Bjorn to get back in the second set Actually looked like it also took a bad bounce. Connor just steered it down the line. Yarn had the easy backhand volley that time into the open court. And now it's Borg with an opportunity to break. <laughs> and it's Connor's attacking. Very good serve and volley. Hit a very firm two-handed backhand volley into the open court. One of the few players on the tour that uses the two-handed volley. Second serve for Connors. Court approach. He's looking for the down line pass, and Bjorn flicks it cross court at the last second. Great control of the racket by Bjorn. And again, a break point opportunity for Borg. He hasn't been able to cash in in four opportunities. Sharply angled cross court return that had Connors way off the court. It was a very aggressive return by Bjorn when he had his chance. Ooh. 
blue balls. Faster serves. And Gore, off balance, just gets enough on it to hit it down the line. Great forehand there. Use a lot of wrist to cover that ball with the topspin. set it up so well. Good set up and, and Bjorn missed the finishing shot again. Fifteen all. And that time Bjorn covers the shot perfectly and hits it into the open court. Thirty. Terminex to know for sure. Where's that number? Nobody offers a better guarantee. Even if you've misplaced our number, just remember 1 800 Terminex. Call now. The wind is blowing just ever so slightly. The water, fairly rapid, fairly rough here. There's a lot of different uh, places to put your feet and hands. The sun hits the cord and just nails you right in the face. Prime plays the world. Summer's here, and June on Prime is hot. Heads up for the European Soccer Championship as Prime brings you three of Europe's top events. Auto racing turns the corner, and it's down the straightaway with the ASA AC Telco Challenge and SCCA Trans Am Series. Olympic hopefuls show their stuff in the Prime Olympic Showcase. Plus, tee it up with Michael Jordan and friends at the Michael Jordan Celebrity Golf Classic. Things are heating up in June, and Prime is there. Being a fan is tough when your team isn't the home team, especially when I try to find coverage of my favorite team in the local paper. I'm lucky if there's even a box score. Well, if you're like me, you'll be happy to know there's one publication that'll make you feel right at home, the Sporting News. You'll love the Sporting News no matter what team you love, even if it is the home team. Call this number now and get four issues of the Sporting News free. You'll get opinions and strategies, transactions, trade rumors, injury reports, and the lowdown on the minors. Plus, football, basketball, and hockey, all year long. Call now and you'll get four free issues. If you like them, you'll get 24 more issues at this great TV price. If not, just mark the bill, cancel, and owe nothing. The four issues are yours to keep. So call now for the Sporting News, the publication that treats every team like the home team. Call now and get four great issues of the Sporting News free. Call 1-800-544-1888 now. Bjorn has uh, set up some points wonderfully with his big forehand here, and we're watching him come in on a short forehand. He's taking it on the rise, a big windup, big topspin forehand. Gets into good net position here, good intensity with the footwork, gets his balance. He's got this winning volley all set up, and technique-wise, he's dropping that racket head and coming straight off the ball, and he floated that one long. He's got to keep that racket up and go through the ball, and he'd control that backhand volley better. Connors attacking. Let's it fly out. 
Connors needing this game to pull even at 4-4 in the second set. Connors won her set at 6-4. And the ace. Good serve down the middle by Jimmy. Bjorn once again looking for the wide serve. It's fifth ace in the match. This is the air. Just the kind of game Jimmy wanted the first time in the match he's been down. Three serves, three service return errors by Borg. And that time Borg did return and attacked. Connors had that backhand down the line lined up perfectly. Just barely caught the tape. <coughs> and that one is also out. So a relatively easy serving game that time by Jimmy Connors. It's certainly nice at the at, as you get toward the end of the sets to win your serve easily. It gives you a little bit more energy to put into breaking. Now, was playing all the time. <laughs> We are dead even at 4-4. And Borg is picked down the middle again. Well, you certainly don't win five consecutive Wimbledon without a big serve. And Bjorn is certainly showing us tonight that he, he can hit the first serve with anybody. Connor standing way back behind the baseline that time to return serve. Good tactic. Now steps in on the second ball. Even at 15 all. In the first set, this is where Connors got the break. And then closed Borg out. Borg has missed 14 forehands. Jimmy's only missed four. He always hit a lot more winners. Jimmy's been a lot more consistent. for Borg here on this forehand let court. Jimmy's on the dead run. He knows he can't get there. He needs one of those longer rackets. He needs about a three foot longer racket. <laughs> Jimmy making a good run here. He sees it. He's coming in. He's in a sprinter's position. A couple extra feet. Results and this time the forehand air at the net. That was a very ambitious shot by Bjorn there. He would have been better off taking the forehand ball and just punching it to the open court. And the ace. He's really got him guessing on that deuce corner. He served down the middle a lot, and now he's using the wide one to mix in. It's like a good baseball pitcher, keeping him disguised. That was out. They're not calling it, but Borg knew it was out. Yeah. Now the late call. <laughs> Jimmy yelling at Bjorn to hit the ball on the screen. He got the, the shank that time for the winner. The power. The punishment. The pain. The ultimate sports spectacular. Now you can relive the excitement on home video with Top Rank's greatest knockouts. Volumes 1 and 2. Together on one full-length cassette. Legends like Hagler, Hearns, Arguello, Duran. 22 knockouts.
that changed boxing history. The courage, the champions, and the cheap shots. This is non-stop action, up close and in your face. Call now to order. A winner by a knockout. Top ranks, greatest knockouts, volumes one and two. Together, only 1998. Don't miss the bell. Call now. Call now to order Top Rank's Greatest Knockouts. This video makes the perfect gift. Sorry, no CODs. For faster delivery, please have your credit card ready and call 1-800-872-8600. That's 1-800-872-8600. Countdown to Indy, all this week on Sports Channel. This is the fourth stop on the Champions Tour. The other three, all Jimmy Connors with victories over Borg, over Creek, and then over Creek again. He's pretty tough to beat once he gets to the finals. And who is waiting for the winner of this match in the finals? Yep, on Creek again. Tape! Fortunate for Connors there. Borg had the clean winner down the line. The tape sent the ball up and, and gave him the easy backhand. And Connors comes back with a serve wide for the ace. Sixth ace of the night for Connors. He's really using that swinger very well on the ad court. Trying to even the second set at five all. And he does. Can you talk about the relatively easy game off the serve? He got another yeah, one. Four, four first serves and a couple of very nice volleys by Connors. See, these great champions are both concentrating very well here at the end of the set. Critical stage of the match for both players. Here's Bjorn coming in on the stretch forehand volley. He's a little off balance. He's recovering to the backhand. Connors goes back behind him, and then Connors has really got him now. He fakes and guesses the wrong way. And this time, Bjorn does come up for the backhand volley. He really went through that backhand volley, finished it very well. 15 all. Winners in the first set, Borg 15, Connors 12. But in the second set, Borg has hit 23 winners, Connors 7. He's really going after the ball. He's showing his power not only off the serve, but off the forehand as well. Again, he had him cold. He did it with Connors at the net, smiling because he knew he got away with one that time. He really did. 15-30. But if someone can come up with passing shots to hold their own serve, you just got to make them do that. Good play by Jimmy. Borg has done well when he has played in Las Vegas against Connors. Success with the forehand volley than the backhand volley. Yeah, he, he really uh, 
Oh, he's got a little better feel on that forehand volley. Great touch there. Takes the pace off the ball, hits the drop volley winner. 40 30. And the big serve gets Bork the game. So Bjorn Bork moves in front 6 5 in the second set. Connors won the first set 6 4. I'm getting older, so I have to push myself just a little bit harder. Introducing a new, hard-working power stick. Now with more older fighters per stroke than ever. Hey, that's better for me and everybody else. New power stick from Fabergé, the most powerful power stick ever. Katerina Witt. To be the best, I use everything. The costume, the choreography, and not so crazy, this. Fabergé introduces new Lady Power Clear Roll-On. Nothing rolls on this clean and clear. New Lady Power Clear, power that won't let you down. You need computer graphics to get your message across. <laughs> Corel Draw is the world's number one graphic software with the most features, the most clip art images, the most fonts, the most awards, and it's still so easy to use. Corel Draw, the world's best selling graphic software. Yeah! The world's largest volleyball tournament and beach party, the Volleyball Blast, is coming to Long Beach. For an entry form, call now. Play the Blast on Saturday or Sunday, July 9th and 10th in a two- or four-player tournament. Each player gets a free shirt and free tickets to local sporting events, separate male, co-ed, teenage, and adult divisions. You play against teams your own age. To play, call now. Or get an entry form in Newsday or at Genovese Drugstores. Volleyball Blast, brought to you by the New York State Lottery, WDRE, Banana Boat, WDLI, Miller Beer, and presented by Sports Channel. Four-wheel drive versus Subaru all-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive rides like this. All-wheel drive rides like this. Four-wheel drive comes on a truck. All-wheel drive comes on the new Subaru Impreza. Four-wheel drive is expensive, but an all-wheel drive Impreza is less than $12.5 after incentive savings up to $2,500. So don't settle for old-fashioned four-wheel drive. Get savings up to $2,500 on an all-wheel drive Impreza and get with the times. Jim Brinson along with Tom Gullickson, USA Davis Cup captain. And this match has given us everything. Great tennis from both players. Some drama, a little bit of luck here and there. Great movement. Some showmanship to go along with it. Absolutely. Connor's really picking up his first serve in the last three or four games. Evidence by that one. Well, you have the linesman calling it good. And the other linesman calling it out, so. Okay? Go in the same place. Watch out, the same place. Forehand past Connors. Jimmy being very honest there, actually serving where he said he was going to serve. up 6-5 in the second set. Connors won the first set 6-4. And Iraq puts it beautifully. Great wide serve once again. Forcing Bjorn to hit that one-handed chip that floated up high, giving Jimmy the easy forehand ball. 40-15. An opportunity to even the second set. <laughs> Putting it to good spots on the court, and he 
positions himself really, really well for the next shot. We're in a tiebreaker here in the second set. It's important when you're playing a tiebreaker to get off to a good start. And Bjorn upset with himself for that one. Connors has been carrying out a little conversation with John Lloyd, who happens to be seated directly behind him. From the waist up, the waist down the front. No legs left. Jimmy just mentioned that he's got no legs left. He must be a little tired. Bjorn's giving him good workout. And an excellent approach shot that time by Connors results in the missed lob attempt by Bjorn. Yeah, Jimmy reads the game very well. He saw that Bjorn was stretched out again, and as soon as he saw Bjorn stretched, he came in ready for the following. Two points to the Connors. And the ace. Oh, they called it out. I just thought about giving you one. Getting it right back down the middle. Connors back to board. He's coming in off that forehand. And Connors hits the beautiful angle volley winner. Great moving by Connors and great racket control. Connors leading 3 0 now in the tiebreaker. And Borg attacking and needing that point desperately. Yeah, he, needs, he needs both these points to, to stay in this tiebreak. Connors. Connor's up one mini break. And the ace. Oregon Canty with his serve down the middle. It's already his 13th lucky number 13 there, right down the middle. Great serving by Borg. He's really mixed it up on the ad court, particularly serving wide and then throwing some down the middle to keep Borg off balance on the return. The thing that always has amazed me about his style of play is that he can carry on a conversation, yuck it up with some people, and then come back and concentrate like nothing was ever said. Yeah, he's, he's a great showman. I think that's how he relaxes a little bit. Some people take a few deep breaths. He likes to talk and, and uh, get his mind off the game by talking to people. Bjorn delivers. Great stretch volley by Connors. Borg whips it cross court. Connors Four, makes three, a good stab, nine. holds it, and whips it back cross court again. Connors guessing down the line. Great backhand work by Borg in that point. Connors leads 4-3 in the second set tiebreaker. Oh, 
three. Hunter sneaking in on four slice backhand again and forcing the air. Talking to it as it went over the net. Telling the ball to get wide and it did. Now 5-3 Connors. Important point here for Bjorn Borg. Has to have it. And gets it. Great wide serve. 5-4 Connor. Okay, the match is on Jimmy's rackets. If he can win both his service points, he'll be in the finals against Johan Creek. Set up a very easy overhead for him. Matt. Okay. Match point now for Connors. Oh. And Moore hits the return. Beautiful Stays back alive. The return. Drilled it right at Jimmy Connors. Jimmy couldn't get out of the way. And Bjorn refuses to fold up. Had an opportunity to get even here. It is still match point for Connors. Connors jumps on it and attacks. that left hand on and just rips it. Unbelievable shot. And we are even at six here. all. Borg saves two match points. the ball early, made the good approach, and had the easy finishing overhead. Match point number three for Connors. Connors won the first set, 6-4, trying to close it out in the tiebreaker. Oh. 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 